I like how when that story started, it was kind of cloudy. Yeah. And by the end of it there, it right. got nice and sunny out there. That's the way the morning was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how they felt. They were kind yeah. of nervous at first, and then at the end, it's like, yes, let's do mm -hmm. this. What an awesome day for them and for all of us. It's been fantastic all around the city and, and Pacific Beach, actually a very popular place to go surfing right there, Tourmaline, where a lot of people start their surfing careers. Just an awesome day with those nice rollers coming in. The water temperature is 71 degrees, so it's still somewhat comfortable. You can still get away without a wetsuit. Now, those numbers, uh, hopefully they hold down for a little bit longer. As we go downtown, 71 degrees right now and sunset will be at 648 humidity at 66%. So it's gone down just a little bit. It's going to be warming up all the way through Saturday. So today we actually dropped about five degrees in average throughout the county. We're going to see those numbers bump up again over the next couple of days. Then it cools back down slightly Sunday and Monday. And then by next week, expect temperatures to rebound. So this is going to be a true roller coaster ride. High pressure starting to set up. So we're starting to see all that moisture to the north and drier conditions setting up also through California. Just to our south, moisture, monsoonal moisture has been enhancing the potential for rain and thunderstorms through the four corners, and we've tapped into some of that humidity. We get to see a little bit of cloud coverage, but as you can see here, it's going to stay nice and clear. Tomorrow afternoon, we should see some of those clouds returning to the mountains and the humidity will stay slightly higher, which is really good news because we need to lower the fire danger. Heading into Saturday, we'll see a repeat of those clouds in the afternoon, mostly for mountains and deserts as we keep things a little bit on the muggier side. but. All things considered, this is actually for the better. Temperatures tonight will be down to 62 degrees in Vista, also in La Jolla and El Cajon, 62 degrees in Ramona. It's going to get chilly out there, 55 degrees. As we get you ready for tomorrow, flying across the county, 82 degrees in Poway, in Spring Valley, 79 degrees, 75 also in Imperial Beach for the last full day of summer. In Lemon Grove, 78, 83 Santee, Ramona, 88 degrees, 73 in Del Mar and a comfortable 74 degrees in La Jolla in Escondido 83, 74 in Sanitas Valley Center approaching 90 degrees and expect to see some 90s into the incoming week. Now in the mountains, 82 Julian, 77 Mount Laguna and Borrego actually going back up to the triple digits after a couple of days in the 90s. We officially have the fall equinox happening at 654 Saturday evening. So that is when we go from summer to fall. But the first full day of fall is not until Sunday. And look at what the temperatures do. They average right around 76 over the weekend. We'll see some clouds in the morning. They do give to, to give away to sunshine, so it's going to be a great couple of days. In our inland communities, we're going to keep it comfortable around 83 degrees tomorrow to actually wrap up summer with one of the nicest days. And then we head into fall and it's like what happened here. Temperatures once again <laughs> approaching 90 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 87. And then next week, look at Wednesday and Thursday. Once again, those numbers getting closer to 90 degrees in our inland communities. That's why I'm calling it a roller coaster. It goes yeah. down, it goes back up. But the 90s, I don't think they're done with us yet. Fall needs to get it together. Yes, yes, fall, <laughs> get it together. Get it together. <laughs>